Are you considering retiring in Central Florida? Well, stick around because I'm going to go over some perks and some points of consideration that you will definitely want to explore prior to deciding to make that move down here to Central Florida. There are many factors to consider prior to making the move down here to Central Florida for retirement, things like taxes, things like weather, things like lifestyle and amenities. So there is a lot to consider and I want to discuss them all with you right now. Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm a local realtor here in Central Florida. I get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move here to Central Florida and specifically retire here in Central Florida and I love it. Whether you're looking to make the move in the next few days or the next few months or in the next year or so, please don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is in the description below and I would love to connect with you to help see if this is the right move for you and how I can support you on your home search here in Central Florida. As always, don't forget to click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications to stay in tuned on everything there is to know about living here in Central Florida. And if you're specifically looking for retirement information and active adult communities, make sure to check out that playlist series on my channel and I'll link them below. So first factor I want to touch on are the tax benefits. So I was a transplant from the Northeast and my parents retired down here in Florida. They moved down when we moved down and my in-laws did the same and many other family members for many reasons. But a big reason was the tax benefits that Florida offers its senior citizens. So we don't have any taxes on personal income. There's no taxes on IRAs or 401ks or pensions or social security. And there's no inheritance tax or estate tax, which really helps your assets go a little bit further and boost them up a little bit for your loved ones, which is definitely a great factor to consider. We also have homestead tax exemption among others here in Central Florida and all throughout Florida as well. Florida also has lower sales tax than many other areas throughout the country. And depending on the county that you settle in, you will also find property taxes can be less as well. Property taxes and sales taxes can vary from county to county. So it's very important that you understand the implications for your specific county that you are looking to settle in when you're doing your research in terms of where to call home for retirement here in Central Florida. I do always recommend that you discuss with your financial advisor or consult with a legal expert on all of the financial and legal aspects regarding retiring here in Florida. Factor number two is the cost of living. So depending on where you are moving from, you could gain a great value in your retirement and relocation down here in Central Florida. So if you're coming from somewhere like California, New York, New Jersey, you will get a great value. If you're coming from somewhere like Philadelphia, you will find it's very comparable. But other areas, you may find that you are spending more money down here in Central Florida than where you originally reside. So cost of living is definitely a factor to take into consideration. And especially when you're looking all throughout Florida, take note because places like Miami and Fort Lauderdale tend to be pricier than places like Orlando. Number three is housing. So whether you're looking for a single family residence, a condo, a retirement, or 55 plus active adult community, Florida offers a wide variety of options. I personally find the 55 plus active adult communities are exceptionally laid out. These master plan communities offer so many amenities. They have coordinators, to plan activities on site 24 hours. They have so much to offer as residents at a really great value. So if you're looking for that resort style living with little to no maintenance, these are definitely great options to check out. And there are many available throughout Central Florida. So if you're looking for existing or new construction in the 55 plus communities, you can get a great value. Another note with those 
If you do have adult children living with you, 18 and older, they are permitted to reside in many of these active adult 55 plus communities. So don't cross them off the list. Now, if that's not for you, you can definitely explore condos, single family residences, townhomes all throughout Central Florida. Many of my clients who are retiring here tend to look for little to no maintenance options. So they tend to lead to condos or townhomes in downsizing. But I really do encourage you to take a look at the 55 plus active adult communities here because I think there's a misconception about what they are and what they offer. And I am doing a series on my channel, which I will link some of the videos below so you can explore those to see if they may be a fit for you. Number four is weather and climate here in Central Florida. Now this could be a perk to some and a drawback to others, really depending on your personal preference. If you're coming from somewhere cold and you're dealing with shoveling snow and driving in ice and gray dreary clouds most of the year, Many times people love the move to Central Florida because of the sunshine and the nice weather for the majority of the year. With that said, you may not like the heat and Central Florida can get very hot and very humid throughout the summer months. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. Aside from that, you also have hurricanes and tropical storms to prepare for. So if you are looking to be along the coastline, that's something you will want to take into consideration and looking at the flood levels and things of that nature when you are looking to make the move in where to settle here in Central Florida. I will say many homes, especially newer construction here throughout Central Florida are designed to withstand hurricanes and major tropical storms. And that is not for all of the year, it's just for June through November. So being prepared is crucial and overall you will find most homes here are just that. But all in all, weighing your options, if you are tired of dealing with that snow and the shoveling and all of those cold weather burning your faces, Florida is definitely a great option. Also with the housing, there are many investment opportunities here. So if you're looking for a passive source of income, whether it be a vacation home that you can rent out or an Airbnb, there are great options here for retirees, especially in Central Florida. And number five is lifestyle and recreation. So if you like to stay active, there is plenty to do here in Central Florida. It is ultimately where people come to vacation. So you get to live where you vacation. And if you have loved ones from all over the country, odds are they're gonna be coming to visit pretty often to vacation here, whether it be the attractions or the beaches or whatever else. So that is definitely a perk. You have beautiful beaches local. You have beautiful lakes and natural springs available. You have the options of festivals like food and wine throughout Disney and other areas. There are farmers markets. If you like to golf, there is not a shortage of golfing options. You have tennis available. So the list goes on and on and on. If you like to lead an active adult lifestyle, this is definitely a great place to call home. You also have access to major airports and the auto train, and it just makes it very easy to have transportation easily accessible and close by for if you are looking to travel or having friends and family come to visit you. So all in all, if you factor in the taxes, the cost of living, the climate, and if you can handle some of the extremes, Florida really is a great place to call home and specifically Central Florida because it is a great value for the most part, depending on where you may be relocating from. You also have so much available and I love living here and I always encourage others to make the move and try it because it really is such an exceptional place to call home. So all in all, before you decide to make the move and retire in Central Florida, take a look throughout the state, visit different areas, research local communities, take into consideration your personal preferences and how it will impact you financially. 
These are all great points to take into consideration and you found insight on making the move here potentially to Central Florida. So I hope that provided value. And if you are considering making the move to Central Florida and looking for places that you may like to retire and settle down, please don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is in the description below. I have a very no pressure attitude and I would love to help connect with you and support you on your journey in your home search here in Central Florida. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications to stay in tune on everything there is to know about living here in Central Florida. I'll see you next time.